Anyway, hi internet. <laughs> uh, this, what is my voice doing? <clears throat> I had this idea of watch me straighten my hair since I wanted to straighten it today anyway. I've had a bad experience with bangs. I'm sorry you're going to see me without bangs for a minute. Anyway, the first bank didn't work out because it was, I'm not going to name the names because I don't want them to come for me. <laughs> and yeah, whatever, I don't know, words. I'm having a rough day. Um, the one that I've had the most trouble with I'm not gonna say it. So let's just call it FURF. The first bank that I, that I help me remember, wanted to talk about was FURF. FURF, you couldn't deposit in increments that made sense, okay? Not like cents as in quarters, but like cents as in that doesn't make sense to me. It just, it was, and then it was just stupid. And then they said you can't have a minimum amount lower than $5. If you know this bank, drop it in the comments. Also, like, comment, and please subscribe. I love all my subscribers, all 20 of them, but I would also love more. <laughs> the increments of, or whatever, unless you had an account balance that was more than $5, which I did for like a month and a half, after moving and having to change everything, that's a whole... If you've seen my Don't Be a Dick When You Break Up With Somebody video, you'll understand that stuff. But, um... The stupidity of this... Of Flurf. Flurf? Flurf. I don't know. The stupidity of this bank was, like, unmatched. Because I had 20 bucks in there. And they decided, since I didn't put any in there after, like a month and a half, they were just going to take out $5 at a time and call it low balance fees. If you take out $5 at a time, guess how much I'm going to have left? Out of 20. Nothing. So, after they successfully took out all of my money, and then gave me a notice that said, your account balance is less than $5. No crap! Of course it's going to be less than $5. You took all my money, bitch. It wasn't 20 it was 40 And, like, seriously, that's the worst. Take your money for no reason. <laughs> um, but it took maybe a year of having nothing in and they sent me the statement saying you have this much in over draft or an over fees or whatever of not having money and I'm like I don't have money how am I supposed to do anything about this so finally after that was after a year and a half I got um, this thing in the mail from Flurf that said we're sorry we overdrew your account. You didn't do anything wrong. No crap! Sorry for headphone users if there are any of you. <sighs> like, why? And then they said, here's $40. I'm like, no shiz. I had $40 to begin with. Why did you take it? And so I had to go down and they sent me a check for $40. I'm like, well, you took all my money. How am I supposed to? Like, what? Why would you do this? And I was so pissed off. And then I read it more and it said, we're granting you $40. So guess what your girl did? She watched her, marched, she marched her butt down there and was like, give me my money. So I got my money back. You know, say I shut that account real hard, real fast. Are you, did you know this? Um, oh no, now I can just go back home before I sit and talk to you for 20 freaking minutes. And then they're rude to my grandma, who is a saint, by the way. And, and, because my mother's name is on a check that my grandma got from a stupid company that is like insurance for both of them or whatever, and that has both of their names on it, she could, this is a different tangent, focus, 
Okay. <sighs> okay. So, my grandma and I went to set up a bank account with, let's call them Glurp. And, because I don't want to get sued. <laughs> Yo, girl, doesn't want to get sued for her money. Yes, and no, I don't have a bank account. I use PayPal. <laughs> anyway, I went in there and was like, okay, yay, this is going to be cool, whatever. I hate banks. Anyway, so we went in there because my grandma loves them. She says, I forgot what its name was. Flur? No, that was the first one. Glurp. Glurp. Let's call them Glurp. Whatever I said before, let's call them Glurp. Um, we went in there and we were like, hey, yeah, I want to set up an account or whatever. Can we talk to somebody? And they're like, sure. That's the moment when you say, we need two forms of identity or whatever. Because your girl only had her license. She's not like, <sighs> We give them my license, and they're like, oh, we need two. And I'm like, I don't have two. And they're like, well, where's your birth certificate? And I'm like, I don't know. My mother has it. Why wouldn't you tell us this? And they were so rude to my saint of a grandma. And I have this thing where it's like, if you're rude to me, I can kind of take it. And just, like, well, sometimes I can take it. Sometimes I throw it back in your face tenfold, and I'm just a bitch. And then other times, I'm fine. But if you're rude to my family, ho, if you're rude to people I love, a saint of a woman, we're going to have words, and they're not going to be kind. And I'm glad my grandma was there because she said, don't do it. Because I was about to go off on them. You don't get to be rude to my grandma. No, that's not how this works. You are working for the bank. Oh, you can see all the steam behind me from my hair. <laughs> that's funny. You are working for the bank to help people and take our money and then like, I don't know how banks work, but I hate them. And so they were rude to her, and she was like, honey, don't do it. It's fine. And I was fuming. Because you don't. <laughs> Cindy Lou Who had a weird cousin. <laughs> anyway, we had to go. She had to take a check that had both of my mom and her name on it. And put it in the bank since you know that's what you're supposed to do and they kept saying oh well it's a third party check we can't do it we're not allowed to do it and I'm like don't be rude and I'm sitting because it's one of those banks where you could like pull up and talk to a person or whatever I don't know what it is it's like a uh, it's weird it's stupid um it's beside the point, but, like, oh, God, just this lady's tone pissed me off, and I'm very easy to piss off, I guess, when it comes to rude people. Anyway, anyway, um, my grandma, being the saint she is, she was like, well, why can't you just put it in the bank? And they're like, when's it there, party check, and we can't verify the identity. And my grandma's like, that's my daughter. What are you talking about? You can't verify the identity. And she's like, well, it's not a name on there. Um, we're very similar people. And although she is a saint, she has a breaking point. Like, um, hello, most people. And so <laughs> she's like, just, just give it back. And I will figure it out. And I'm like, sorry, ma'am. <laughs> and really, they could have fixed it. They could have done something. So, we drove away, and my grandma was pissed, and we <laughs> like, oh god, I don't know. I just, if somebody has an account with you, and you're going to be an asshole, don't. Just don't. If you're having a bad day, have a bad day, but don't be an asshole. I don't know what she's going to do about it, but why would I want to have an account with them if... They're gonna be assholes to my saint of a grandma. No! No! Oh, 
Oh God, I'm just, I'm still irritated and that happened yesterday. This might turn into like a longer rant about other things too. I'm sorry if it's confusing. I'm sorry if you're bored. I'm trying. <laughs> um, don't come for me, YouTubers. Trademark Jenna Marbles. Don't come for me, YouTubers, about how I straighten my hair. I don't know how to do it another way. <sighs> Stressed. Stressed. <laughs> there was no. The first bank I talked about, I had an account at when I was younger. And I would, my mom would put in three dollars each week, yeah I know, what, mom, really, each Saturday, and then, it, did I ever get that money back? No! That same bank stole my money. Twice! Bank of Gur. That's what I renamed it, because I don't remember! Bank of Flurp, was it? Bank of Flurp? You stole my money again, twice, Bank of Flurp. Rude. Stop screwing people over. Why is there this in my forehead? I don't know what's happening. <sighs> God. Why is it so hard? Why is adulting so hard? Why didn't they really give us any whatever to adulting? They didn't give us, or I didn't get any advice into it. Ow, I just burnt myself, son of a bah Okay. That just comes along with straightening your hair, I guess. Maybe in the next video, if somebody cares to hear it, I'll tell you about my paranormal story. Ow. <sighs> I don't know what you're thinking. Nobody wants to hear about your stories. Nobody wants to watch your channel except for my 20 subscribers who I love very dearly. Um. I have a Patreon now, if you want to help a girl out, mm, and possible merch that I made myself with Teespring. Girl, hit me up and I want you to give me Like, please. <laughs> I hope you see this and then you help me. Thank you. I don't know. I don't know how to do anything. One last run over with this, and I'll be done, and the madness will be over. I'm sorry if you hated this video, but like I've said eight billion times already, a girl hates banks because they're a-holes, assholes, whatever. I don't care. I'm done. I'm just, I'm over it. Don't be a dick to my grandma, and we won't have issues. Plain and simple. And also don't be a dick to me because I will be a bitch. Like, you don't even, you don't want to know. It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> so please, do I not blend well? God, what is wrong with me? Yeah. That's the finished straightening whatever. I wish my hair was longer, but I straighten it. Because I'm insecure. She's mad at me because I will grow up. Oh, ow! Oh, stop it! Ow! I will grow up. I'm sorry, boo -boo. I love you. Mm. Yeah. I know. You won't go back to sleep, okay? Oh, God. Alright.